Simple Cyber Defense Weekly Update for May 16, 2020. Welcome back to the Simple Cyber Defense Podcast. In this week's episode, we're going to be discussing vulnerabilities that are found in iPhones, Mac, and Windows operating systems. So let's begin. So we're going to start off with the iPhone vulnerabilities. So a group has confirmed that 900 million iPhones are left vulnerable to a male demon security flaw. So what is a male daemon? A male daemon is the means that the software uses to be able to send and receive emails. So why is this such a big issue? Well, this could be used for any number of exploits. And Apple has recently confirmed that one of its oldest vulnerabilities has affected millions of iPhone users and at a time of the writing, things are not looking good. Back in April, Apple acknowledged that every iPhone that has been launched in the past years was prone to remote attacks through the iOS mail app. So in other words, they can use your iPhone's mail, ISO mail app, to control your iPhone from the remote, remote remotely. This is a big deal because then they can have access to your phone, steal data, or install apps that will further compromise your iPhone device. So the big question is what can be done to fix this issue? Apple has been downplaying the severity of this issue. However, there have been talks about being a fix to the vulnerability in the upcoming iOS 13.5 which will be available for iPhone 6s and newer but what about the phones before that they will still have the vulnerability because they will not have this ISO 13.5 update so what can happen to the older iPhones well Unfortunately, since there won't be a fix for it, the only thing you can do is to disable the ISO map mail app and either use Gmail or some other client app trusted enough to be able to use your email clients because this particular mail daemon is only affecting the ISO mail app and not of any other mail apps. So, we're going to move on to the next issue, which is a critical Windows 10 flaw that could let hackers delete important files unless you update now. So, the two major vulnerabilities that Microsoft highlight include their remote code execution flaws in the Microsoft Color Management and Windows Media Foundation. These flaws have nefarious parties, the power, give the nefarious parties power to install programs, view, change, or delete data, or create a new Windows 10 account. So how is this happening? Addressing the Microsoft Color Management flaw in Windows 10 says, in the web basic attack scenario, an attacker could host a spe- specifically crafted website that is designed to exploit the vulnerability and then convince users to view the website. The hacker can't force you to view that website, but once they do, they can gain control through this color management uh, flaw. This is typically done by getting the user to click on a link in an email or instant message. 
that uses the attacker's website by opening the attachment or clicking on the link you're sent to their website which would compromise your computer so what can be done for this issue just update to the newest patches for Windows 10 and also be careful what you click on because not every link or attachment will be safe for you to click on and so now we talk about the final issue which affects both Windows and Mac users which is the Adobe Reader and Acrobat now have nine critical flaws that have been patched so these flaws are mostly affecting a few things the first thing that it the flaw would go after is the out of bounds reading what does this mean it basically gives the attacker the ability to read information that it shouldn't it gives them ability to read a lot of private data or data that you've not disclosed in proper ways the next one the next few are mostly for arbitrary code execution which basically means that the attacker is allowed to use this exploit to run their own code on your computer without your interaction at all and the last one is mostly talking about privilege escalation which may basically means using means to create an account which has no privileges and can't do anything and then elevate it up or give itself rights to do everything it wants to basically super user abilities so they can delete your files change anything they want make your computer even more vulnerable all of this is done mostly through the PDFs that Acrobat reads so what an attacker will do is create a malicious PDF send it to you through email and then once you open it it runs code in the background to exploit all these things so the best thing to do is to make sure that your Adobe Reader or Acrobat is up to date with all its patches because all of these codes have been patched up so this concludes this week's security updates so just remember keep everything up to date and tune in for the next one to see what is next in the crazy world If you like what was in this episode, please consider liking, subscribing, and sharing with others. For more information, to suggest a topic, or to donate, head over to simplecyberdefense.com.